In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own gallery on your own server using a free script. Now, the reason you might want to have the gallery on your own web hosting service is because then you have full control over your content. If you were to put your photos on a website such as WebShots, you don't really have any control over them. WebShots has control over all of your content, whereas if you put it on your own server, then you have full control over how your gallery works. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install this gallery software. So of course you're going to want to go to Downloads and download their latest release. Okay, it'll pop up here. Just download it somewhere on your computer. Okay, I downloaded it to my desktop. Now what you want to do is extract it. Okay, so this is our extracted gallery here. And here, these are the files that we're going to be using. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to upload this onto our server. You can either upload it into a subdirectory so that it's yourdomain.com slash and whatever folder name, or you can upload it directly to your domain name root directory, and then they just key in your domain name to get at your gallery. I'm going to put mine in a subdirectory called gallery. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll use an FTP program called FileZilla. Okay, so the way this works is on your left side is your computer. So we navigate to the folder we want to upload or to the files, just double click to get to where you want. Okay, so these are the actual files we're going to upload. On this side is our server, so you can type in your host here, which is your domain name, username and password, or the username and password for your hosting account. There's also a site manager, and you can enter your details in the site manager and we'll save them in there. And then you can go to the site manager to access your websites. This is handy if you have lots of different websites. Okay, so I'm going to hook up to my server. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory to put my gallery into. So I'm just going to call it gallery. Okay, down to gallery, double click. Okay, here's our empty directory. Now all we got to do is upload everything in here. So click on the first thing, then hit control key and the letter A. That'll select it all and then click upload. Okay, this will take a few minutes to upload, so let's wait for it. Now while we're waiting for this to upload, let's go and have a look at some example galleries. So here's some demo sites that people have created. So you can see that you can make some pretty nice photo galleries with these. For instance, let's click on this one. And here is somebody's photo gallery. All to do with vehicles, it looks like. All right, so as you can see, you can make a very nice gallery with this free software. Now let's go back to FileZilla now. We'll see that it's all uploaded, but what we need to do now is we need to create a directory, and then we need to call it var, V-A-R. Okay, then go down to the directory you created called var, right click. Now this is using FileZilla. You may be using a different FTP client. In that case, you'll have to use whatever you use to set the file permissions. Now let's set this to 777, which is writable. Click OK. Okay, the next thing we're going to need to do is create a database. Of course, everything's going to be stored in a database, so we need to go and create one. You will have a control panel where you're able to do this on your hosting account. I'll show you how to do it with cPanel hosting. Okay, so this is our cPanel. What we want to do is go down to where it says databases and then you're going to want to create a MySQL database. You may also have a MySQL database wizard. If you do, you can use this. Okay, so in this case we're going to create one and we'll just call it gallery. Create database. Go back. Now we have to create a username for access to the database. I'm just going to call it the same thing. You also need a password. Now you can use a password generator. 
and it will create a secure password for you. Just copy this and let it know that you've copied it and use the password. Now create the user. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to attach the user to the database. So choose the user here, and they happen to be the same name here. So we just look for gallery and gallery. Okay, so we add, we want all privileges, make the changes. Okay, and that's the name of our database. Remember, we have to use this whole string here. Even though we called it gallery, it appended some characters to the front to tell it that our database is attached to our account. Okay, so now it's time to do the install. So let's open up a blank tab here. And now we've got to type in the URL to where our gallery is. So it's my domain name slash gallery. Okay, so since we already created this var, it already knows where it's going to sell store our gallery. Okay, so here's where we put in our database information. Let's paste our password in here since I have it in my clipboard. Okay, then our database name we can take from here, which also happens to be our username. But if they were different, you would have to set them up different as well. Okay, so that's our database, our username, Localhost, this is usually going to be correct. Now, you can tell this by going back to your cPanel, back to your databases. And then go to phpMyAdmin. And okay, we'll choose our gallery database now. And you'll see here it says localhost. So we know that that's the right name. Now you may have to contact your hosting provider if you're not sure. And uh, table prefix, this is so you can have multiple galleries in one database. This is an optional parameter, but if you're gonna create a gallery for cars and horses and camping and so on, you might wanna separate these out with something like C underscore or something like that. and for instance, if there's going to be a camping gallery, you could do C underscore. Then if we're going to install another gallery into the same database, then we could use, for instance, if it was hiking, we could put H underscore, etc., and only use one database for all of them. Okay, let's go to continue. Okay, and it's telling us our gallery install is complete. And here it gives us our admin username and a password. So we'll start using gallery. Now you can change your password and email at this point. Okay, so our username, full name. You can change that here. You can change your password and confirm. And then we can put our email in, our language preference. And then we can modify user. Okay, let's modify. And our gallery is now installed. In the next video, we're going to start the setup process.